Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today we're going back to the Cargo Connect table. And we're going to go ahead and show you guys mission 7 and 8. Mission 7, unload the cargo ship and 8, airdrop. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so again, the whole purpose is to be able to show you guys the points if you're unfamiliar with the points and how to get those points for these missions. And also to give you an example of what this might look like, especially for you beginner teams. So today we're looking again at mission seven is going to be the unload cargo ship and mission number eight is going to be the airdrop, that cool helicopter over there in the corner. So let's go ahead and go to the table. Okay, everybody, this is going to be mission number seven, unload the cargo ship. So if you can see right now, this green container is touching this platform. So in order to get your points here, in order for you to get 20 points, you just have to move it so that it's not resting on the platform anymore. So that'll be 20 points. And for 10 extra, you'll move it all the way over here to the end, where it's as far east as this can go. So that'll be worth 30 points. So again, to just lift it is 20. To move it all the way over here to the east is going to be the extra 10. And that's how your team will get 30 points for this mission. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, for this particular mission, I'm going to assume that we have done the platooning trucks already. Because the path that I want the robot to take here would take me really close to the truck. And it would not give me a, a ton of room to get by. So this is a strategy that I always have my teams talk about is, you know, which mission do we do before another mission? So this is one of those cases where before you would do the unload the cargo ship mission, we should do the platooning truck mission first, just to give us a more clear path. So when we come back to base, we are not, you know, going to be running into the truck and possibly eliminating that mission and possibly you know, having something in the way, the truck in the way of getting something else done. So with that said, this mission here, I have this front end extension. So that way, when we go over here, it's going to just push it from west to east. Instead of pushing it from the side, because you guys know when you push things from the side, it can make your robot tend to veer off. So I just wanted the robot to be able to push this instead of having to you know, veer off to the right. So let's check this out. Okay, we're going to push that all the way to the east. And you see, we could have ran into that platooning truck there. And we're back into home. And we definitely got the green cargo container off the platform. And it's pushed all the way over here to the east. So that's the 30 points. And we didn't put the platooning truck in danger here. So again, another strategy just to talk with your, te your teams. What missions do we get done before others so that we're allowed to not endanger another mission, we just have more room, and it's, uh, it's a good strategy for your teams to talk about. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at mission number eight, the airdrop mission here. So again, this yellow lever is in this position here. If your robot can move this lever to the right, it'll drop the package, and that'll be worth 20 points. Now, here's what's gonna happen to get extra points here. So if you notice the other competitors the other competitors board if the where we dropped it it's going to be in their home base. So this will drop and then what they'll do is they'll take this and if they can put it into their cargo connect circle that'll be worth an extra 10 points. And then the other 10 will be if both teams can release the airdrop package. So this could possibly be worth 40 points. 
So one more time, if the package gets dropped, that's going to be 20. If teams can take the package that was dropped from the with the other team and have it into their cargo connect circle, that's going to be worth an extra 10. And if both teams can release their package, that'll be an extra 10. So there's where you get the possible 40 points. Let's go ahead and see a robot drop this package. Okay, everybody, we're ready to do the airdrop mission here. And I just wanted to point out that this is just a robot educator with nothing on it. No media motor attachment. So for you beginning teams, I just want to encourage you that this can be done without anything extra. Just a simple robot educator here. So let's check this out. Okay, here we go. Making it past the bridge. Let's just make sure this lever gets, there's the package dropping. Don't hit the chicken. Oh. Okay, we're safely back at home. There is the package, the airdrop. So that's going to be worth 20 points right there. Great job, robot educator. Okay, so again, with the airdrop, if the other team drops their package, remember how their helicopter would be right about there? It would fall. You would pick it up from your home, put it on your robot, and if you can put their package into your cargo connect circle, like that, then your team would get the 10 extra points. There we go. So that would be added on to the 20 for dropping the their, your, your package. And also, if both of your teams drop your package, that would be an extra 10. So there is be a case where you pick up the 10 just for putting their package into your Cargo Connect circle. Okay, guys, so hopefully that was clarifying for those of you that were confused on the points confused about you know how this could be done i know that airdrop can be a little confusing as far as you know depending on the other team it can be a little confusing for those of you um, that might not be competing in person or competing with other teams i don't know how that's going to be working with you guys this season um, you know, because if there's no other team on the other table it's going to be hard to figure out well what do we do you know, if we get that airdrop, um, you know, is it all by ourselves? Do we lose those points? I don't know. It's going to have to be one of those day-to-day -day things and to find out how your league is going to do this competition um, in person, hybrid, some type of model like that. So you might have to just be keeping in touch with those that are involved with your first Lego league, you know, your set of teams to find out, hey, how are we going to compete this year and how do we handle that airdrop? But you'll just take it as it comes. And I would definitely have your team, if you're going to you know, do the airdrop, just worry about dropping it and maybe get your points somewhere else if you know you're not going to be competing in person with other teams. So, okay, guys, so we're wrapping up, you know, mission seven and eight. Hopefully you're still having fun with Cargo Connect. <laughs> Gotta love those sounds. Gotta love that. And so... Hopefully you guys will check back in um, just to find out because we have more missions to look at. So I am Mr. Hino from Sales Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.